Hey guys, welcome back to this GarageBand how-to. In today's video, we're going to learn how to fade in GarageBand, specifically how to fade two tracks that are popping in GarageBand and also how to fade out in GarageBand, like how to fade your, your full song out in GarageBand. So this is a song and we have a pop here. So for, let's first look at this pop. A pop happens when you're trying to connect two regions or tracks together and the audio signal is... Um, not crossfaded, so it, it's popping. And this is just what it's called. You're going to hear it here when I try to play this guitar. And I'm just going to zoom in for you. This, this, There's going to be a pop here. Try to have a listen to it. I'm going to turn it up for you. It's ever so slight, but you don't want any of this happening in your song. Have a listen again. So we need to crossfade that in order to get rid of that pop. This can sometimes happen to, to when you have multiple vocal takes and you're trying to find the best take of a vocal. So you need to merge tracks together and you need to crossfade this. Unfortunately, in GarageBand, it's not an easy task to do this. I don't know why Apple has made it so difficult and why it's not such an easy functionality to do in all higher professional DAWs. Logic, for example, it's super easy to do. In GarageBand, it's not, unfortunately, but here's how to do it anyways. You have to do it inside automation. And in order to get to this automation interface, this view here, we have to press A and we can see it. So first step is to duplicate the track by going Command D and then bringing one of the regions down. Now we're going to open up automation and we're going to fade the volume down on one region and then fade the volume up on another region. And that essentially is what a crossfade does. So I can zoom in here. And if you haven't, if you're not very familiar with automation, basically I won't get too deep, but you'll see here, make sure that it says volume on each of these drop down menus. If it doesn't, make sure you go to it and find volume. Now make click in on each one. So we're going to get generate two yellow lines. And this it represents the volume. Notice when I'm going up and down, it goes up and down on this fader over here. So what we're going to do is make sure both are starting at the same volume. So this is that if I hold this is negative 0 0.6 and negative 0 0.6. So we want them to crossfade in and end up at the same volume. So that's important. That's step one. Step two is now getting out of automation and making sure that there is a little bit of overlap on each one. So we're going to have to drag both those regions over so they overlap because this is where we're going to fade the volume out. So step three now, getting back into the automation, here is where we're going to recreate the fade. Make a click here, and a click here. And a click here and a click here. We're going to edit these where these clicks are, but essentially we want this volume to fade down and then this volume to fade up. So let's just have a listen to what that's doing. No more pop. But you can notice the volume that the that there is a fade because of the volume. So if that's happening, you can just make the fade a little tighter or a little shorter. Hardly a difference there. Or have that, have the first region just overlap the second one a bit. That's a pretty good, I don't, sh pretty good fade. Oh yeah, and notice how this volume at the end goes right to zero. That's how to crossfade two regions in GarageBand. It, you will get faster when you get used to it. Um, if you're going to upgrade to something like Logic, all you have to do to create a crossfade would be to, if it's up here, you just have to drag one region into each other and it does an automatic crossfade for you. Now let's look how to fade in GarageBand doing an overall fade out of the track. This could also be a fade in as well. We're going to want to go up here to track and go show master track. This is going to go down, you scroll down to the bottom or the last track will add this master track. And this is where all the tracks go. It's the final track. It's the last, you know, end of, end of the, end of the station, really. 
where all the tracks go. And this is, it's called a master track. And if you've heard of a process called mastering, you would add effects uh, and plugins on this track to, to finish your song, make your song louder and compress it. Not gonna go down that road. So let's open up automation on the master track by pressing A. And you can see, we can make sure it says volume because we're gonna click in here again. And now we have our volume of the master track. So we can go, we can scroll all the way to the end of our song here, the bottom, wherever your song ends, right around here. And just have a listen to where you want the song to end because we're gonna to wanna to know when to fade out. So let's say if we come to the last bar here, let's say we'll probably want it to fade around bar 74. Do that again. Two, three, four. Okay, let's have it fade out at bar 75. So we have our cursor, playhead on 75, open up automation on the master track and click a dot. Now, before you drag down, make sure you have a dot clicked over, let's say on bar 74. And now drag down. You could also make it right at the end of the song, which is a brown bar 72 or 73. So it could be a really long fade like this. And if I just zoom out, you're gonna see that as I play from the last bit of this song here, and the master track volume over here is going all the way to zero. So just like you can do that fade out, you could also fade in on the track this is going to affect every single track in your session. It's the master volume. So that's how to fade in GarageBand, doing cross fades if there's a pop or click in, in your mix, and also how to do a master fade out and fade in. Thanks for watching this how-to, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.